I am in Tanzania. Small village Moshi is located right next to Mount Kilimanjaro. Usually, it takes five to seven days to climb it, but I don't want to spend any extra time or money. At that, I want to do it in two days. It is wet season now in Africa, so neither roads, no weather is not expected to be the best. A couple of hours of driving gets us to the gate of the national park, but to get the permit even longer. And off we go. I have a guide and a porter. After about seven hours of very physical hiking, we see the mountain Komi Moenzi, which is second tallest in Africa, and also a bunch of monkeys. 100% humidity, 98 degrees Fahrenheit on the thermometer, but in order to get to the summit in 24 hours, we have to practically run part of the approach. I believe I forgot to mention that from the gates of the park to the base of the mountain is just about 50 miles. We started at midday and we're trying to do two-day trip in seven hours. In three and a half we are reaching the first refuge called Maranga. This is the first day for the regular group, but we need to get to Horombo, which is another four or five hour hike. Well, let's do it. Unfortunately, the weather didn't cooperate. Rain, cats and dogs were totally wet, but who cares, right? It's already pretty late, but finally we are in Horombo. Not the best accommodations, but I'm only staying here for 5 hours. It is still about 15 miles just to the base of Kilimanjaro, and then one mile vertical hike. The total vertical elevation gain though, from the gate to the top, is over 2 miles. Hard to believe though. Then less than two days ago, I was in Denver fixing Subaru automobiles, and now, after a good breakfast, I am looking at Kilimanjaro. Wow! Yep, I am definitely in Africa. Today, our goal to get right through the last frontier, Station Kibu, and get to the main summit of Mount Kilimanjaro. After four hours, Kibu is way behind us, and we're already conquering the steep slopes of the mountain trying to get in time to the top and get back to Kibo. At 17,000 feet it has gotten pretty cold. Besides, I definitely can't feel the altitude now. It's been less than 18 hours since we left the gate to the park. And 50 mile approach in one day doesn't make it any easier, that's the fact. Yet we are at Gilbos Point now. This considered to be the summit of Kilimanjaro even though it's not real summit, but most of the groups finish their ascent right here. To the real summit, it is at least another hour and 20 minutes, and we're going to do it. This is another fake summit, but we're getting much closer. Unfortunately, the weather gotten worse again. It's okay though. I'm glad I've been training in Colorado for the last three months for this trip. And this is exactly why I'm standing on the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest point of Africa. Actually, I got to the top so quickly that I am still waiting for my guide for already about 40 minutes. It is 11.45 in the morning, so it was less than 24 hours from the gate. But the day is not over yet, still need to get back to Kibo. Only 1 hour and 20 minutes took me to run down to Kibo. And now another 5 hours sleep and go back to the car. It'll be 50 miles sharp to get there. It started to rain again, but I don't mind that at all. Well, that was fun. Since that day it passed 19 years. But in my memory, the ascent on Mount Kilimanjaro and Africa was yesterday.